Okay, in this video I'm going to go over uh, this question and and uh, where we figure out how much you can borrow for this and also get the total interest. Um, so, affording a home, you find that the going rate for a home mortgage with a term of 15 years is 5.8% APR. The lending agency says that based on your income, your monthly payment can be at most $1,100. How much can you borrow, right? So, this is our formula as you know and into the formula we're going to put the monthly payment which is $1,100 we're going to put R which is the monthly interest rate and T which is the number of payments over the life of the loan so first of all we'll calculate R and T so R is um, the 5.8% uh, over 12 right okay so that's you know 0 0.058 over 12 and let's see what that comes out to be okay so that's a big long decimal um, so yeah especially for this question I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, I'm not gonna round that I mean you, you could so we got 0 0.004833 forever so I mean we could probably get a good uh, we could probably get a good um, answer if we put in a lot of threes like like just because you know but if we round that to say for example 0 0.0048 then our answer is going to be off because because this this R is applied in the formula okay so I'm actually going to write it as just uh, 0 0.058 over 12 and try to get it that way uh, T is the number of payments we'll make over the life of the loan. Now, how do we find T? Right, so it's a it's a 15 year loan, so you go 15 years times 12 months, okay? So that is 180 payments over the term of the loan. So we have our R and we have our T. So our amount borrowed is 1100 times 1 plus r to the power of t. I'm going to go 1 plus 0 0.058 over 12. I'm going to leave that in the calculator to figure it out to, to hold all my all my 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3's. Okay, to the power of t to the power of 180. Okay, minus 1, right? Now I have to close off the parentheses um, so the, these parentheses are just for the 1 plus r see that that's just for the 1 plus r right okay and then that's all over r which is again 0 0.058 over 12 um, times 1 plus r 1 plus 0 0.058 over 12 to the power of t 180 right now notice that the calculator follows PEMDAS so it's going to do just this to the power of 180 like this power of 180 will not be applied to this part just this part okay so um, I could do an entire one line calculator entry just do this whole thing over this whole thing um, why not? Why not? Uh, um, at least, well, why not just calculate top and bottom and then divide? But we could do all of this divided by all of this in a one-line calculator entry if we wanted to. But um, basically, the top of the fraction is just going to look just like that in a calculator: eleven hundred. Okay, parenthesis, parenthesis, um, one plus zero point zero five eight over twelve, parenthesis exponent 180 subtract 1 close parenthesis press enter so that's the top 1520.105096 all over and now we'll do the bottom right so the bottom is uh, parenthesis now the reason I have parenthesis I actually don't need these parentheses because the calculator goes from left to, to right okay and it will um, it will see that this is an exponent it will um, 
calculate everything in here it'll divide that first then add the one then exponent that and then it'll go from left to right and see that it needs to go here this divided by this then times whatever this worked out to be so that's how the calculator follows PEMDAS it goes from left to right it looks for parentheses goes from left to right it looks for exponents it goes from left to right and then it multiplies or divides from left to right and then it go it adds or subtracts from left to right so in in actual fact if you if you didn't leave these parentheses in there it would still get the right answer but i'm just going to put them in because for our own minds i think it it just makes sense that we're telling the calculator to please calculate this first so that we get what r actually is our 0 0.00483333 right and then calculate all this and then multiply the two together because that's what we want to cal the calculator to do right so um so parenthesis 0, 0.00 oh sorry 0 whoops 58 over 12 close parenthesis parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.058 over 12 parenthesis to the power of 180 and we get 0 0.011 uh, 5125.83. Um, okay, so if we type these in, then we'll get um, then we'll get our answer, right? So let's see. Um, on my calculator, uh, I could type them in and divide, or what I'm going to do is use my arrows. I'm going to go up. I'm going to take that number there, press enter, and there it is, right? Then I'm going to hit divide, and I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to grab that number, press enter. See, so divide that by that, and now press enter, and there's my answer. 132038.57. Right? So I'm going to round that to the nearest what? What are we dealing with? What this? What are our units of measurement? Dollars, right? And uh, the question might say round to the nearest dollar, or what did it say? Um, well, it didn't say. So if you're dealing with money, um, you could round to the nearest dollar, but, but I think rounding to the nearest cent is is the the safest thing to do. So let's round this guy to the nearest cent. One, three, two. 038.58 Here we go. Now, that's that part. Now the next part, how much total interest will you pay over the term of the loan? Well, let's see. That's a good question. Um, this is the amount you're going to borrow. Okay. And how much total interest will you pay? Hmm, that's a good question. What what do we need to know? You got to think about it. What do we need to know? Like, what what what's going on here? You've, you've you've got this house loan, right? For fifteen years, every single month, you got to pay what? One thousand one hundred dollars. So, what do you think we should calculate to to help answer this question? What do you think we should calculate? Every single month for fifteen years, for one hundred and eighty months. You're going to pay this amount, right? So one thing you might want to think about is, well, you know, how much are we going to pay over the course of the loan? So how much will we or you pay in total? Like over the course of the loan, how much money will you pay to the bank in total, right? So, one sec, let me get the light improved here. So, how much do they pay in total? Let's figure it out. So, we're going to we're gonna make 180 payments, and each time it's going to be $1,100. Now, remember, this is leaving out your uh, property taxes, homeowners, uh, in, your insurance, and all those things. But this is just the payment back on the loan, right? So, how about do this? Your eleven $1 hundred dollars times one hundred and eighty payments makes what? One nine eight zero zero zero. One nine eight zero zero zero. So tell me about that number. What does that mean? What do you think that means? 
Hmm? What does that mean? So this is the amount of money you're paying because you're going to make 180 payments of $1,100 and it'll all amount to $198,000. Now your loan amount, this is the amount borrowed, is 132. So how do we figure out the total interest? How do we figure out the total interest? Well, do you think you subtract? Maybe maybe we should subtract 132,003858, right? To get So take that and subtract the amount we borrowed. 132038.58 961.42 okay so that's the amount we pay in total that's the amount we borrowed what's this isn't this the total interest make sense that's the total interest right